Hey everybody, what's happening? Michael Barretta, thank you so much for checking me out today. This is an absolutely gorgeous day. Um, had a fascinating weekend, and I spent some time with my nephew, my godchild, um, this weekend, and we had a really neat conversation about mean people and how to respond to them and so on and so forth. And, you know, it's interesting because when you look around, we tend to believe there's a lot of mean people, and some of us um, have a very reflexive, impulsive response to mean people you know, in turn we we try to be mean back or we try to hurt them um, as well because we feel hurt and wronged and then there's also the chorus of people out there that when you do endure a challenge or something heart-wrenching or something painful or something stressful which we all do that does not make you different it does not make you unique those things happen they do all right it shouldn't be a surprise and we shouldn't treat challenges and problems and struggles as if they're these new things, all right? But those things happen. And what we hear a lot of times is a lot of people will say, oh my gosh, yes, uh, take to your circle of friends, take to your um, people that are closest to you, your family, take to the internet and social media and just puke it out, right? Like, complain it out, let everybody know how horrible things are, lament it out loud, and get everybody else to chime in and, and share their, their horribleness. Because what we're, what we're doing is we think, that, we think that normalizes, right? To use a psychology term, we think that normalizes it. So then that way, we can look around and go, well, gosh, you're struggling, and you're super depressed, and you're wicked, violently angry, and you're just upset with life, and you hate the way you look, and you hate your kids, that we can sit back and go, oh, cool. Yeah, I hate all that stuff too, and I hate on me, and I can't stand you, and life sucks. Wrong. Let that go please. Enough with polluting the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful life world that we all exist in. That's not what we need. And again, I want you to realize what I'm, I'm suggesting here. I'm not suggesting to pretend that bad things don't happen. I'm not suggesting to just, when, when something does happen that is a challenge or um, it hurts. I'm not trying to pretend to be like, oh, so you just want us to smile and, and sing a dance and have everything go away. No. Although, is that really a bad idea? Seriously. Um, I just want you to think about the stuff that is making you feel hurt or painful or depressed or upset. Why would you think adding more of the same is going to make anything better? And whatever better means, I don't know what that means, all right? That could be making the pain go away or finding a solution to something that's making you struggle. I have no idea. Um, but when we choose to say, you know what, this is crap, so I'm going to pile more crap onto the crap, please, seriously. Um, I had the discussion with, like I said, with my, my nephew, and we were talking about mean people. I said, you know, think about a stereo. And think about when you're listening to music, right? When, you, when the music is loud, or if you want that music to be louder, you turn the knob up, right? So it makes it super loud. Now it's very loud. The only way you make that loud not loud, all right, is you don't try to find something to add to the loudness to overpower the loud. Because all you're going to do is you might drown out that, but now you're just making something else loud, right? The only way that you make that loud not be there is if you find a way to bring quiet to the situation, all right? So essentially it means you have to turn everything down. Um, this is what I think we don't do. And again, uh, you know, I can go on online, I can have conversations, and I hear people say, but it's good to vent. It's good to lament. It's good to complain out loud. It's good to put down um, the, the badness and the evil and the strife and the struggle. All you're doing is creating more. Because, again, your struggles, your pain, your hurt, your fears, that stuff does not make you unique because we all endure it. All right? That doesn't make life unfair. That doesn't make life hard. That makes life life. All right? But if you just contemplate life for a moment, not your circumstances, not your situation, not your consequences, right? not your perceptions of the way things are, if you just contemplate the bigness of having a life, that is pretty profound. And if you can't step back and go, I'm breathing, that's super awesome, all right? 
I don't know what else is going to actually help you get through the stuff that you are enduring, which again, we all endure that kind of stuff. Um, maybe the reason why you are, it, it seems like it's taking longer for you to overcome something hurtful or to get navigate through something painful is because that's all you're thinking about, that's all you're talking about, that's all you're acting on, that's all you're attaching to, that's all you're trying to tap into in terms of, oh, this makes me feel angst, right? Love life. Stop complaining about it. 